Hello everyone. I am straight out of the shower because this is really bothering me and I couldn't wait until I um, dried and put some clothes on. Although I do have a towel on so I'm not completely naked and also like this is where the frame cuts off so I think it's gonna be okay. Anyway, um, this is the end of week one back at work. So New York City is in phase two. I went back to work this past Monday. It was my first week. It was not good. Um, not doing anything for three months and then being thrown into a completely booked schedule is crazy. Um, hair cutting is a skill that, you know, if you don't use it, you kind of like lose it after a while. And the fact that everybody hasn't had their hair cut in three months and everybody wanted a haircut and the fact that, you know, you go from zero to a hundred, it was just like a wild time. <laughs> and I will say for the first time in the six years that I've been doing hair, I have finally cut someone and it was awful. In the past, I've cut myself. I haven't cut myself a whole lot in six years. I think I've only cut myself maybe three times at this point, and I've never drawn blood. I've only like ever so slightly nicked myself, and I'm like, oh, I cut myself, and it's like a paper cut. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but I cut myself this week, and that's literally with a cut where my thumb is pointing. Like, I cut myself across my finger. And that's literally as bad as the cuts that I give myself get. I cut this guy's ear so bad that I was cutting around the, the sideburn area and I was cutting like the hair right here. So I kind of had it and I was going like this, cutting it short and with the point of the scissors. And so what happened was I, either opened my scissors too much or the scissors were in the wrong angle and the back part of the scissors where the screw is went like this and cut like a like an oval oval sliver like this shape out of his ear and I felt really bad he thankfully was super cool about it um, he did freak out some people I've seen at the salon freak out when you cut them rightly so because you just cut them like ow and also why would you do that and he was completely understanding accidents happen we are all human but oh my god i've never done that before in my life i've never even cut someone in beauty school and i would feel better if i cut someone in beauty school because when you're in beauty school who cares like they sign a waiver, but I'm at like a working salon. People are paying a lot of money for my haircut and I cut this guy's ear off and it was so big. Like I cut his ear and I started noticing that he was bleeding and I was like, oh my gosh, I just cut your ear. And he's like, really? Cause he didn't feel it, which thankfully means my scissors are really sharp. And he goes to look, it was this side. And he's like, oh, I don't see it. And I was like, uh, I'm gonna get you a band-aid. So I left to the back to get him a band-aid and a tissue. And when I come back, he's just sitting there like, <laughs> because it's bleeding down his ear and then his mask has blood on it. And then the cape, there's blood running down the cape. And I was just like, Here's a tissue. And then we tried to put a band-aid on it. Didn't work. He was like gushing blood. So I just kept giving him tissues. And then he tried to put a band-aid on it. Didn't work because he was still gushing blood. And eventually, you know, maybe like six tissues later, he's like, you know, um, I think that I should go and seek medical attention. And I obviously could not disagree i was just like yeah i think you should seek medical attention too <laughs> and so um i had most of his hair cut in the back um i had most of it cut on this side so i just cut this right side really quickly the top really quickly and i just left this this one area uncut because that's, I was working on this and then I was gonna work on this and then work on this and then work on this, but I didn't want to cut his hair 
with him bleeding like that in the event that for some reason, like some freak accident, like the hair clippings went into the cut. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna charge you for this. I apologized profusely. And, um, you know, and he tried to tip me and I was like, no, don't worry about it. Just come back and I will do the rest of your haircut. And he was like, oh, okay. And then he just left. And I was just like, oh my God, it was so bad. Like he was bleeding so much. And I just want to clarify, this wasn't like a tiny, like, snip. Like, I took a piece of skin, like, this wide, probably, and maybe, like, this long. So when I took it off, it was on the blade of my scissors. I had to, like, pick it up with a tissue and throw it in the trash. It was so big that I could have, like, picked it up and given it back to him and be like, here's the piece of ear that I just cut off. It was huge. It was not a nick. It was not a slice. It was like a legitimate, like, I like flayed him and had like a piece of his ear that like, I don't know if I was creepy, I could have kept it in like a jar. Like it was that significant of a piece of skin. Thankfully I did not cut into the cartilage, but I was just, it was just the worst. Oh my god, and it just bothered me all of yesterday, all this morning. It still bothers me now. I cannot believe I did that. And everyone in the salon was like, it's okay, it happens. And then I actually um, posted to like a hairdresser's group and I got over 70 comments. And everyone was also along the lines of, it's okay, it happens. But it's just like, okay, but like nobody wants it to happen to them, <laughs> which is the problem. And it just really bothers me. And... I already have like PTSD from other things and now this is just one more thing that I'm probably going to have like trauma from just because even now it's like I still feel stressed and I still feel extremely anxious and this is very troubling to me and it's already a day has passed so um I took off of work for the rest of the week um because I had some events that I had to go to pre-corona, but since coronavirus is still happening, those events were canceled, decided to stay not working um, this weekend because after that happened to me, I was, it was, no. So I think that this weekend I'm gonna have time to recoup and hopefully when I go back to work on Monday, I will feel refreshed and not have this on the forefront of my mind. And if I do, then that's not good. But the haircuts after that gentleman, like I had, I think, four more haircuts after him, they were all not great because I was so paranoid and so shaken about around the ear. I was like freaking out all of the haircuts and it was just not a good, no. Ugh. So that's pretty much my video today. Um, I'm very upset. So I just wanted to get that out there because it just has really been eating away at me since yesterday afternoon. It has been about 24 hours later and hopefully in about 72 hours I won't feel as bad, <laughs> but it's really, it's all I'm thinking about and it's just really troubling me and so I just wanted to make this video. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching as usual, and I will see everyone next time. And maybe I'll give an update on how I feel in a few days, who knows. All right, that's it. Bye.